What's up everybody, this is Thibaut from Steam Studio. In today's tutorial, I would like to talk to you about vertex map and fields and how you can use it into your Redshift material. Let's jump in. Okay, so we are now into Cinema 4D. So let's create um, an object here. So I'm gonna use this Team Redshift Light Kit to add an object to my scene here. Um, and I'm going to go to my network HDRI and use one of the Grayscale Gorilla ones. I don't know, maybe this one, for example. Okay, so we have our object and let's uh, try to render this for the moment. So we have already a redshift material. Let's disable the background here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to create a vertex map. So how you can do this, you just click on points and then select and set vertex weight. You set it to zero and you have your vertex map. Here you can click on it and say use fields. And on field, what is interesting is that, for example, if I disable this one, I can create a spherical field, for example. And here, as you can see, you have already your vertex map and your field apply. So how can we use this, for example, to change the color between the, the red here and the, and the yellowish uh, color. So let's jump to the Redshift Shadow Graph. And here I'm going to create a vertex, C4D vertex map. Then I'm going to drag this one here. So my vertex map go to the vertex map slot. And here I don't want to spend too much time um, on for example, using different material and blend material. Maybe this is another tutorial. So let's simply create a color layer. And here, what, what, what do I have to set up? Well, um, I'm going to choose a color, for example, a gold one here. So maybe something like this. Yeah. And for the color of the layer one, so here, um, the layer one will be the white color here. Think of this like black and white, so like an alpha, uh, an alpha map. So let's choose a bluish one to have a fairly good uh, feedback here on what's happening. And here, what I have to do is to connect this one to my layer mask. Actually, let me just show you if I just connect this one to my output here and press play. So as you can see, you have the white and the black. So now if I just connect this one, this one to the diffuse color. So of course you're gonna have blue. And with this vertex map here, I'm going to say, okay, let's use this one as a mask for my layer one color. And of course you will have the blue here and the gold here. So that's it for me. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a thumbs up and see you next time.